Hi, this is Blaine from Nextide, and this is a continuation of our video that walked through our demo use case for our business workflow solution called Maestro. The use case was an online home and auto insurance provider called maestroinsurance.ca. In part two, I'll provide a quick walkthrough of where you can find more information, as well as a walkthrough of the Maestro modules workflow editor and the workflow template that orchestrated the insurance quote process workflow. More information is available on our site, both in our workflow pages as well as in our blog. Additionally, we've got detailed documentation um, on Drupal.org. Um, we go through an introduction, talk about the features and capabilities, we installation, um, initial discovery, which goes through a good, good introduction um, of um, exploring Maestro once you install it, details on using the workflow editor, um, all the different task types, we go into detail on configuration for all the different task types as well. So there's a comprehensive information available on Maestro there. Um, but a quick look here at the uh, the template. Wanted to bring your attention to the legend here that talks about the different colors. All workflows have to have a start task and that gets generated by default. And there will be one or more end tasks, typically one. Um, interactive tasks that have um, human intervention. Most of the tasks you saw is executing as the agent or the underwriter um, or the client or interactive tasks. Um, logical engine tasks where we check for conditions or branch the workflow. And batch engine tasks where we do any batch processing. Any custom code can go inside a batch engine task. The workflow editor is a drag and drop interface where we can uh, rearrange our tasks. We can add new tasks. In this case, I'm adding an interactive task. Once the task is added to the canvas, we just move it where we want. Then we have options to draw the connecting lines and edit the task. Depending on the task type, you'll get different configuration options for that task. So just looking quickly at this template, we start um, and we immediately branch off into two different tasks that execute at the same time or close to the same time. We create the user um, pulling information off the form um, we set a process variable so that we can identify the type of insurance quote that is being asked, home or auto. We bring those tasks together into an end, so that collects the tasks. So once they're both completed, it will proceed. We then do a, have a review task, and this is a web form task. And if I just click on the edit here to see some of the task properties, um, we give it a title. We tell it that it was going to participate in that status timeline that we uh, were showing you. Um, this is where we get to configure that. Here's where we, uh, it's a web form task, so it's very specific to web form. It automatically knows the different types of web forms we have. We pick that up here. Um, we want to track the submissions that come in from the web form, so we give it a unique identifier. We have a number of options here um, to set, as well as the assignment, like who's going to get this task. And in this case, we're setting it by a fixed value um, that's going to go to a user called agent. We then come down to an if task where we're checking to see whether or not the agent is requesting additional information. So if he did, then we're going to say we need clarification. And that's going to go back to the, um, the originator that submitted the web form, so the customer. They're going to get a question that they have to answer. And when they complete this interactive task, it comes back again to the agent. And we can stay in this loop as many times as we need, as noted in our demo. Um, but once the agent says yes, Let's proceed. Then we have a NIF task that checks the type of insurance policy. Was this home or auto? So we, we branch off into two different um, interactive tasks here. They could go to two different inter underwriting departments. And then each of these interactive tasks each go to a NIF task to see whether or not the underwriter requested additional information. And if they do, then it goes back up here again. And we, and we can circulate through this um, series of workflow steps as often as necessary. Once the underwriter has approved it, we come down here to an OR task because it's one or the other of these are going to, going to be completed. Um, that just basically collects the workflow again, where we then come down to a batch process to create the policy. This is where we're actually creating a Drupal content type, um, pulling information off the web form. We then come back to an interactive task where we present the quote back to the, uh, the originating end user, and we end the workflow. So that was a quick walkthrough and provides an example of a possible business process 
Maestro can automate. Maestro is very flexible and designed to handle large volume and complex business processes with its combination of interactive, batch, and logical operation task types. Out of the box, Maestro is powerful, but everything about Maestro is extendable with using its API as well as creating custom interactive and batch tasks. Developers can even create new task type plugins that can be used in the workflow editors. The web form task type is an example of this. That concludes our video. Additional resources are available on our website, www.nextide.ca. Thank you.